What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to State 48 Turtle and Tortoise. It is a gloomy overcasty day here in Arizona, but guys, I've got a video for you today. I just got home from work. This beautiful girl, Scarlett, who is my OG, my original albino sulcata I got, she has been digging around for literally weeks trying to lay eggs and she did it while I was at work today, but kind of in this inconspicuous spot here. And believe it or not, this is the first spot she ever laid last year and somehow she found it again. So tortoises always blow my mind, reptiles in general with the instincts they have built in, but I already dug my finger around in that hole. There are for sure eggs. She was literally packing this in so, so gently. Um, it's amazing how gentle they are. Let me see if I can show you guys. Look at that. And there's an egg. So I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys set up. I've got my egg box right here. Tortoises are doing great. There's my egg box right there. The tortoises are doing great. I'll show you then. Somebody was digging around right here yesterday. I think it may have been her. She started that whole like weeks ago. I'm gonna bury it back in. But um, tortoises are staying nice and warm in here. I think she may have been digging around yesterday. I'm not sure. But another one of these het girls was due to lay a couple days ago. So we'll see what happens. But guys, here's all the baby tortoises. Just fed them some delicious food. They are absolutely thriving in this new environment. Super, super happy about it. But guys, without further ado, let's go harvest some eggs. Get my box ready, set you guys up. We'll get some eggs harvested real quick and this should be a uh, quick and easy video with you guys. I'm gonna set this up right here. And let's get going. I'm gonna go ahead and move her just slightly forward, let her keep burying stuff in like she would. I've learned you can kind of get away with quite a bit as far as, um, this is just crazy, honestly. She literally, for weeks, for weeks has been digging. And it's honestly been stressing me out a lot. But for weeks, she's been digging. She's the mother of Rosie, my very first albino sulcata ever hatched. She's the mom. Look at these pearly whites. It's a beautiful, unbroken egg. Super stoked. Put your guesses, guys. How many eggs do you think she's gonna have in here? Oh, and they're not broken, guys. That is such a huge uh, relief, because to be honest with you guys, Last, the last clutch I got the other day from Cali was actually really good, but all the clutches I've gotten this year before that were super huge letdowns. I actually had a new female who broke, she broke 15 of the 16 eggs that she laid. They were just too big. Same thing happened with my very first clutch I got this year. Maybe I can put this in there so you guys can see a little bit more of what's going on um and so <laughs> she broke a lot we broke a lot of eggs this year unfortunately up to six eggs she usually doesn't lay a lot seven eight oh she doesn't lay a lot of eggs unfortunately but whatever there's, oh, I found another pocket. Nine. It's maybe her biggest clutch ever, actually. I think it is. 10, 11, 12. Let's get you guys in here. 13. Feel a couple more. 14. Are there any more? Let's see. Gotta be nice and gentle. Sometimes they like stick to the inside wall because the tortoise is like, they're really good at digging forward, like down in here. I think that's gonna be it though. That is 14. Beautiful eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up right here. She's still in her egg laying trance, as you can tell with her crazy eyes. Um, but she didn't break any eggs. So that's a huge, 
huge, huge, huge positive. And there are no more eggs in here. That's all of them. Um, Vermica like slightly dry pepper these boxes a while ago. So I'll probably mist these down. Again, she's already done most of the work and stuff in here. I'm just gonna help her speed up the process a little bit. I'll put her back on top, right where she was, and let her do the rest. But guys, that's the video. We'll go ahead and toss these in the incubator real quick. Um, I'm actually gonna mist them down. So we'll bring them in here real quick. Cause I've got a little, this is the girl that laid a beautiful clutch of eggs the other day. Posted about that on the, the gram. I don't know if I posted on Instagram or the YouTube. Let me go ahead and put you guys in here real quick. While I miss these eggs down. Guys, I'm just gonna talk to you guys for a minute while we're putting this, putting this stuff in here. Um, you know, I've been posting a lot about Brian Barczyk lately, and and uh, honestly, it just, I don't know what it is about Brian's passing. It's just been like, and I'm asking for sympathy by any means, because if anyone deserves it, it's Brian's family, but man, it's a, uh, been a rough go you know like i don't know why brian's pet because like we weren't even that close so i don't know why like we are close don't get me wrong i'm not getting discount we have but like not nearly as close as so many other people are um i'm gonna take rosie over here she's named rosie in honor of scarlet's sister rose that passed away a couple years ago she's super dirty but i don't know why brian's passing has been so much on my mind i don't know if it's because i've started every day of my life literally five days a week of my life with Brian Barczyk, but um, it's been one of those things where, where it's just been crazy that he's gone. Um, think about him a lot, you know, like, like literally I started my day all the time and I'm watching all these people's videos, you know, all the other, you know, all the other reptile influencers out there in the world. Um, all their videos of them talking about the relationships they had with Brian and Brian made every single one of us feel like yeah, we were best friends with him. We were his best friend. Just honestly a phenomenal, phenomenal dude. Um, and just a super shame that he's not here anymore. The world took some good pe a good person from us, unfortunately. But, you know, I'm a believer that obviously he's relieved from his pain. And I'm sorry to keep dwelling on this and talking on this. But uh big believer that, you know, he's not suffering anymore. I shared his daughter's post the other day. You know, he's not suffering anymore, but man, is it hard. You know, I lost my mother 10 years ago, and so I got an idea what they're going through. I didn't have, have to watch her suffer at all by any means, but um, it's one of those things where it's just a huge, huge bummer that he's not here with us anymore, and, and I really am sympathizing with his family. You know, I, uh, I just hope they're doing okay. It seems like Noah's been absolutely crushing it on the vlog, so that is super exciting to see. Anywho, I just want to bring that up. Um, look at look at these gorgeous pink growth lines this girl has, and this is all popped up since we got them in that new enclosure. That is what you love to see—that phenomenal new growth. And I think it's because it's super warm in here. I've been cranking the humidity up, and and they're just loving it in here. But guys, we're gonna go ahead and run that back in. I got some more servicing to do in there. I gotta spray it down. I've been trying to mist it down two, three, four times a day. As often as I can when I'm in there, but let's go ahead and show you guys the incubator. Get these eggs tucked away. Some people wash their eggs really, really well. Um, I'm not against that. I just honestly, it's laziness that I don't do it. Um, but let's get these tucked away real quick. Let's put you guys in my arm right here. Hi, you are currently being recorded. Sure am. Darn tootin'. Let's get that light on. Let's get the light on in my incubator in. There I am, guys. Oh, my hair crazy. Okay, it's not terrible, but I was actually thinking, crap, I just filmed this whole video with crazy hair. 
turn the light on in here. So that brings us up to four clutches for the year. I don't know what I just dropped, but four clutches for the year. Scarlet's perfect clutch of 14. This girl's perfect clutch of 13. This one, about half of them broke. This one, about most of them broke. I think there's only one good egg, unfortunately, but it is what it is. And these are just some other things. I gotta crank up the humidity in here though. We're, we're low. Inside that box, it's like 80%. Outside the box, it's way less, so. I've got the light on. I'm gonna come back in here, mist everything down. But guys, that is gonna be a wrap for the video today. If you guys have got anything you guys would like to see, let me know. Hi. If you guys like seeing me. You are currently being recorded. I know, I know. If you guys like seeing me collect eggs, let me know. I'll record more videos. Um, I've got just, life has been busy today. I'm not gonna bore you guys with it, but uh, appreciate you guys' support if you made this far in the video. Um, let me know what you guys wanna see. I'll film videos for you guys on whatever it is that you guys wanna see. So I appreciate the support. Sending a lot of love to everyone out there. Um, we've got more clutches coming. This female is due to lay a second clutch literally two, three days ago. So she should lay any day now. Jules has been doing crazy, crazy uh, pacing. So she should be doing any day. So just lots of fun stuff coming, guys. Appreciate you all. I'm going to end this video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll catch you next time. Peace.